real. If I believe I'm better than you, I'm saying that because I am. The minute he slip up, the minute he have a piece of doubt, the minute I smell blood, he's done. If you're going to bark, I'm going to roar. All right, they got a um, Joshua did another promo that you probably haven't seen yet. This all this news is just new. It's not even um, not even 20 minutes, half an hour old. I actually finished the live stream, went and took a shower, came back and the news was announced that Joshua versus Miller is official as we all predicted it would be. Media, you know, from what we've been hearing June the 1st, 2019 in Madison Square Garden press conferences next week in New York likely going to be there i'm t Street controversy this is t Street controversy live so joshua on his personal channel and his website anthony joshua aj boxing he actually did an announcement himself where he you know justified why he's fighting um big baby miller who ah oh, it's, it's complex we already talked about it but let's just get through this Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to sport fans and fight fans all around the world. Today we have a public service announcement. I've always wanted to do that, and uh, I just did it. So here we are, YouTube, fresh start. June the 1st, I'll be travelling to MSG, abbreviated for Madison Square Gardens. New York City, the Big Apple. I'm there to take a bite out of that, and uh, I'm going to be competing against Jerome Miller for the heavyweight championship of the world. I will be defending my titles in New York. You know, Wembley is so close to my heart. It's a great spot. It's a great location. I fought in small halls. I fought in arenas. And it's been a humbling and a blessing to fight in the stadiums. But now it's time for a change. The current state of the division was the undisputed championship of the world. Myself and Deontay Wilder, the current active heavyweight championship champions of the world. Sorry. And uh, we was looking to get that fight on April 13th. But things happen, boxing politics. I'm sure you guys are aware. So we had to branch out and look for other options. And uh, Joel Miller came up. It's an exciting fight. He's an undefeated heavyweight. And I know... Oh, my bad. My bad. Hold on. Some technical difficulties. There we go. Fighting fight. He's an undefeated heavyweight. And I know. That's the second time his video keeps cutting off. I wonder what that is. Every time I try to watch the video on his channel, it cuts off. Weird. But anyway, while I'm fixing this, let's talk for a little minute. Um, that video he put on his channel, I guess it's his war cry to try to get his UK fans like, hey, listen, Anthony Joshua is not as known in the United States that you may think UK fans. For some reason, they're a bit delusional about that. And then they quick to bring up the shit that we already know is that, hello, Deontay Wilder is not that well known either. But, you know, he needs those UK fans to get over here. Let's see. You know, there's going to be some other. Heavy oh, a and yeah, when it gets to the 140 mark, it kind of like breaks down a little bit. But basically, this is his war cry. This is his call to his supporters, to, you know, his hardcore fans, the ones that are willing to spend all that money. I'm going to post the information down below in the description box about the uh, travel packages and everything they're putting together for you guys to get over here. I haven't decided if I'm going to this fight, but likely I will have to, you know, in some capacity, if they don't bullshit around with the credentials and all that type of stuff and let people in who don't do better work than us. Or have a better reach than us. But whatever, 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 whatever. We're going to talk about it. Please subscribe on T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe. And I'm changing up my training style. I'm going to be doing a long period of training in, in New York. So sparring partners, <coughs> you know, or anyone who knows of any good sparring partners, leave your comments below and let us know what you think. You guys are So he's going to New York early because they're really trying to establish his ass there. Like, you, you see what's going on? That's smart. Get over there. Listen, get over there. You know, and start going to the restaurant. Start going to Times Square. Get all that promotional shit. You know, get over there. Over here. I know the guys that know us as fighters and sportsmen. 
and uh, let us know what you think about you know the current state of their weight division and where it's heading. You know, I'm going to continue to say discipline, stay on track, stay focused. And that's where I'm at right now. June the 1st, MSG, heavyweight boxing at its finest. You know there's going to be some other heavy hitters in the room as well, trying to witness and trying to see if they can compete with me because I know some of the American audience ain't seen me in the flesh. And also we'll be flying out some of the UK-based fighters as well to kind of make their announcement on the American scene. And um, 2019, a big year for change, different things. And I'm embracing it, you know, I'm not going to turn down any challenge and I can't sit back and not fight. It's what I love to do. And without training and the discipline of training, what would I be doing myself? So that's why I took on this challenge. So yeah, live on zone, live on Sky Sports, from one side of the world to another side of the world, everyone will be able to view the fight as usual. And I'm in shape already. 17, 16 weeks to go. I'm looking forward to it. Catch you guys soon. And as that old YouTube thing goes, uh, comment, subscribe, like, and let us know what you think. Share your thoughts, share with your friends. And yeah, I will be reading your comments because even with the good, it's positive and I take it in. And even with the bad, you give me a chance to perfect where I'm going wrong. So leave any comments, let us know your thoughts. I appreciate them all. Thank you very much. Um, it's nothing wrong with what he's doing. You know, they had to come over here, you know, to the States eventually. They had to, you know, especially if they want to be like, he, he, he has to, you know, he has to look, the women are going to love him, you know, and he has that, that, that charisma where he doesn't have to talk all this trash and shit. So it's going to be a huge test. I'm interested to see what the undercard is going to be. Can anybody throw any names out there to me? You know, what if you think they're going to throw Kel Brook on there? That'd be great if they did some shit like that. You know? Let's go take a little gander at social media. See if anything um, has come up from Matchroom since uh, I started streaming. It goes together, baby. I know for a fact I'm going to... They got a lot of promos. This is third promo. You go ahead. This is Sky Sports. I'm coming for you, buddy. Ain't no English muffin, crumpets, and teeth. I'm coming for your behind. Uh, there's my monetization that I didn't have anyway. I am the unified heavyweight champion of the world. you sign a contract is bad blood the minute you put your name on that piece of paper you're a piece of meat to me oh the blood is bad brooklyn boxing it goes together baby i know for a fact i run into joshua out the ring the blood is too damn bad once i get you hurt you're going home that blood is bad That blood is bad. Uh, you know, it's like, listen, I dig it. I dig the politics of it. I dig the politics of it. As you notice, I haven't mentioned a couple of names in the heavyweight division. I, I can dig it. You know, I'm going to do my best to sell the fight. I like uh, Anthony Joshua. Even though, you know, I've been hearing some shit behind the scenes about him being greedy and shit. You know, guarding the gold and shit. But overall, he's done just be the champion of the world. He's not supposed to fold. You know, move on, get other fights. I'm interested, I'm like the, the political, is, I'm, I'm interested to see how they do with ticket sales. I'm interested to see what it's going to be like when they do that first uh, video of him walking around in New York City. You know, and see if people know him walking around Times Square and shit. He's had to come over here eventually. If he really wants to get to that next, next level, he's smart. He talks about it. He knows that he had to come over here eventually, sooner than later. And now with the zone, you know, listen, obligations. Him and her ain't got them obligations. Look at his fucking knuckles. Crazy as shit. But anyway, I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.